Yo, what's up guys, Coach KP here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can improve your lateral acceleration, quickness, and change of direction speed so that you can be more agile, be more evasive, and be that athlete that can make that defensive stop or that game-winning play. So before we get started, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on post notifications so that you guys don't miss out on any helpful videos that can help improve your sport performance. One of the key components when it comes to lateral acceleration is being able to create stiffness with your upper body. So creating that stiffness with your upper body, your core area, allows you to actually generate more power. So the first drill that we're implementing is called the med ball fake throw. So now this med ball fake throw, what it teaches you is it teaches you how to create that stiffness with your torso so that when you're moving laterally, you prevent yourself from side bending or shoulder sway. So you prevent yourself from bending side to side or even bend or even rotating. There's gonna be a little bit of rotation, which is fine, but the main thing with the med ball fake throw is it teaches you that stiffness so that you're able to complement that lower body mechanic with good upper body mechanic. Because nothing's worse than having good feet position and lateral movement only to be screwed up by bad posture in the upper body area. So the second drill is just a simple lateral shuffle. Now this may seem simple, but there's three key things that you need to have in order to have an efficient lateral shuffle. Number one is being able to put your body in a good athletic position. You don't wanna to be too low or too high. What happens is if you're too high or if you're too tall, there's not enough leg length for you to push off. Number two is being able to push aggressively down and away with that outside leg. And number three is being able to open up that lead leg. This is necessary and all athletes will do this when they need more speed. And that turnout with your leg allows you to be stronger to pull with your heel, hamstring, and glutes versus being more inwards and pulling with your groin and adductors. So this creates an action with the lead leg and a reaction with a push the leg to generate more power and to cover more ground. The third drill is the power shuffle, which is more dynamic, and now we have more change of direction movement. This is a good progression from the first two drills to challenge you to apply what you just learned. That is to create stiffness, staying in that athletic position, applying that lateral gait cycle with the push and pull action, and taking advantage of that stretch reflex to load and explode. Finally, the fourth drill is when we make the lateral change of direction movement more reactive. This becomes more game-like and this randomness will actually help translate better to your sport. 